All right. Without further ado, I'm really excited about this because this is the first time I get to interview Henning Morales. Henning, can you walk us through the moment you first envisioned Dirt Merchants Films? What was the driving force that motivated you to bring it to life? Back in the day when, uh, when I was exposed to these super high powered motivational masters uh, completely, who completely uh, transformed my way of thinking. And then the adventure that I went on once that, once that happened, it was uh, it, it, every day it was, this is a movie, this is a movie, this is a movie, someday, right? One of the defining features of Dirt Merchant's films has been the unique thematic elements it brings to filmmaking. Can you talk about how this characteristic theme was decided and how you've managed to weave it into your films? Well, since the, since the beginning, when I first started telling these stories, uh, the actual stories uh, were the, the genesis of the development of these stories was back in the day. We used to motivate each other uh, to keep our attitudes positive, our little sales organization that we had uh, back uh, back uh, when I was uh, just, a, just a teenager. And we used to tell stories about what happened to us in the field with our customers and the rejection that we were experiencing and the, and the insane uh, results of some of the reactions to those, uh, those uh, rejections and, and the victories and the, and the prizes we would win when we would we hit our goals. And ever since those early days, I got hooked on personal development. I got hooked on positive thinking. I got hooked on storytelling and, uh, and, and sharing with people a way that they could think differently and feel better. And to me, before, before I got in this world of personal development, this world of of self-improvement, I didn't even know that anything like that existed. And it sounds strange to those of us who've been studying these things and read a lot of books and have, have, uh, have studied under the tutelage of really fantastic mentors and have become mentors. It's very strange to think that there's another way. So when it came time to start making these, these movies, which actually sprung from the stories that we would tell. And when it came time to making these films, we made a decision. When I say we, uh, it, it's, it was a group effort because as those of you who are around in the beginning, I was very reluctant to even get into the movie business. I was not gonna make movies. I, I, I know how to speak. I can speak publicly. I was taught by the best and I, I'm pretty good at it. And, 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 and if with a little practice, I could become great at it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go speak. I'm not going to mess around with, with movies. And the main reason wasn't that I don't love movies. And it wasn't that I don't love the storytelling process in movies. It was that I know how much work it takes to become great at this discipline. Anytime you get, you're involved in a creative discipline, it took me 10, it took me 10 years to learn how to speak publicly in the proper way. 10 years of studying under the best people. So, you know, how long does a doctor, you know, study be, before they get operate on someone, you know, 10 years, probably. Right? Yeah. How, how many years does a lawyer need to go to school before they can actually try a case? Probably uh, four plus three plus, an, plus a, an internship. My point is that I knew it would take a monumental effort to become great at filmmaking. And that's why I was reluctant to do it. So the team, uh, that I, I surrounded myself with encouraged me uh, to do it. Uh, those people being Ken Levine and Michael Selzman and Ash was one of those people. Andrew Lane was one of those people. Mark Jackson won three Super Bowls, was part of that, 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 uh, that group who encouraged, encouraged me at the, at, the, at the very beginning. And uh, some of my friends from back in the day, from the people who were with me at the beginning of, that, of this journey, uh, like like Teddy and like uh, Susie Q and and uh, and Anthony and Joe and a lot of the people that were that were with me back when it was all happening encouraged us to make movies out of this. So it was a group effort, 
And I said, well, if we're going to make these movies, let's do it in a way that's, that's uh, first of all, want to be different. You always want to be different. And any, uh, any billion dollar situation that you can think of, and again, that's how we think. We think big, and it's not just about generating the money. It's if you, if you can generate a billion dollars, especially in the entertainment business, that means you made a lot of people smile. You gave yeah. people thrills, you gave people chills, you gave people uh, hope and inspiration and you frightened people, you made them laugh. Uh, you, uh, you, 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 you left them better than you found them, hopefully. If you're in that billion dollar category, really it's, it's, it's bar none. That, that, there's no real exceptions to that. And every genre has its audience and every genre has its purpose. Uh, but if we're going to be in that category, if we're going to be joining that category, then we must do something different. Uh, Marvel did it with the comics and you have Marvel in DC and there aren't any others really that do it with, 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 the, with the comics. The Fast and Furious, although it's not my cup of tea, they did it with the cars. I mean, they got, by the time the seventh or eighth movie came out and the car started flying, I said, what is this? <laughs> another <laughs> of, this is another version of, the, I don't know what this is, right? And the yeah. car has a parachute and the guy's jumping from the car to the parachute to the plane. What the hell is this, right? So every genre has its uniqueness. Star Wars, when it burst on the scene, and Star Wars was the next generation of Star Trek, but they did it very differently. Uh, and if you look at the Harry Potters, very unique styles, the Lord of the Rings, again, something totally, you can go this, all the way this way, all the way that way, all the way up, down, and see the difference, the differences of these, of these franchises. And I said, I said, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it differently. And we're only going to tell inspirational stories. We're only going to tell motivational stories. We're only going to tell transformational stories. And we're only going to do things that are based on the reality of here and now, what we can relate to now. I understand there's a reality in the future. And by the time the future comes, that'll you know, the new reality will be what's what what's coming this is 50 years ago probably what we're doing now it seems like science fiction but i i want to focus on what's happening now or recent past okay we don't want to go ancient times but recent past and the events leading up to today we also said again going back to your question about the theme the themes of these movies they're all that way but they're all so different in that way because it's not a question of how you get to where you're going. The question is getting to where you're going. And there are many ways to skin the cat. Anyone that's learned a foreign language, I had, was dropped in Mexico, I, seemingly with a parachute and a briefcase to learn how to be a motivational speaker in the Spanish, which was not my native tongue. I had to learn how to do it. And anyone that's learned a foreign language, you understand that there are many ways to get to the same result in communicating with people. There are many different ways to communicate. So there are many ways to communicate these inspirational, positive messages. And in my opinion, in my opinion, the best way, and I got a little bit of experience here and I learned from some of the best. So I got a little, little credibility, just, a, just a something, something. The best way to tell these stories is through contrasting characters. The, the warning and the and the warning and the example. It's very biblical in nature. In all these stories, you have a hero and you have a villain and 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 and, the, and, and you have the you have good versus evil. You have angel versus the devil, right? You have uh, you have these contrasting stories that make them powerful. So getting back to the thematical, the thematical uh, uh, weaving of these themes throughout these th through these stories that's how we do it we do it differently we take a true story and we say okay what's the me message here what's the lesson what's the moral to the story and then let's go ahead and get some some bad cats and some good cats some musical cats and let's get them all playing together and mixing it up and see what comes out of it and in the end Joshua, in the end, the hero must win, and the villain must lose, and the dragon must be must be slayed, and the music must be sing-alongable. 